What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Yan Mega for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Yan Mega, this Pokemon is definitely off meta, but I feel like a lot of people absolutely love this Pokemon, including myself. Yan Mega has a speed boost ability, which is one of the best abilities of all time, granting it a plus one speed boost at the end of every single turn. Yan Mega is a frail Pokemon, so it is holding the Focus Ash, and it is rocking Bug Buzz, Air Slash, Tailwind, and Detect. Another strong Pokemon on today's team going to be Archeludon, not just any Archeludon. This Archeludon is not stamina. It is using Stalwart to kind of bypass any Follow Me users. It has the Power Herb with the Electric Terra for Electro Shot, and then it's got Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse for Stab, and Protect. So like I said, definitely a different build for Archeludon. Cannot wait to showcase it. Our other four Pokemon on today's team feature more of meta Pokemon with Ursaluna, Porygon 2, Incineroar, and Sneasler. Incineroar gonna be great doing Incineroar things with Fake Out and Intimidate. Ursaluna gonna be a big time physical attacker, great within the Trick Room with Guts and Flame Orb. Porygon 2 can set that Trick Room if we want to with Download and the Evio Light. And Sneasler doing Sneasler things, always does big time damage with Close Combat, Dire Call, Throat Chop, and that White Herb to kind of take away stat changes. Guys, wanna run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Yan Mega in ranked regulation H. Now, before we get started with match number one, I want to give a huge shout out to Wolfie for creating this team. This team isn't his rental code, but he made this team. He used it actually in the most recent regionals and actually did really well. So huge shout out to him. We'll be linking his channel down in the description below. I'm sure you guys already checked out his channel but if you guys haven't yet definitely go check out his channel but going up against Indeedee and Armors here in match number one alongside with Ursaluna, Torkoal, Logan hate that combo so much and then last but not least they got Dragonite now when it comes to the Hisuian, Logan and Torkoal combo that one is definitely scary I kind of just want to bring an Incineroar to kind of deal with Indeedee and Armors but trying to deal with uh Torkoal and Logan is a struggle on its own so how do I want to play this how do I want to play this one? I could just, you know, go into you. You're just a great Pokemon all around, so I might end up leading you. Um, and I might just want to go into, like, Archeluna here. Hmm. You do have Electric Terror. You could be pretty good. But the problem here is, like, Explosion Torkoal. That's my, my, my big threat here, right? Is Explosion Torkoal. And at that point, I mean, I could fake out and just swap, right? That would make the most sense. I could just fake out, swap... The arch would I get out somebody else and kind of get thriving from there. That is something I do like. Um, hmm. I don't really know. I definitely went Yan Mega here, and I think I'll just go Guts Ursa Luna. Just su such a solid Pokemon, especially if they're gonna set up Trick Room. I would like to have my Ursa Luna, but yeah, Torkoal, Loganth, scary combo for me. I just hope that they don't bring it. I just hope that they don't bring it. If they do, we should just I don't know if we should just attack. How are we gonna play this? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But if they lead in DD armors, I would actually like that, considering I have Stalwart ready to go. I have Incineroar already on the field. Let's just see who they lead first and foremost. No Logan, no Torkoal. Please, thank you. Hate this game. Hate this game. All right, we'll deal with it. I think we got to swap Arsalude on, like I was mentioning. Uh, Intimidate's going to fly out here. I could always just, like, party shot, but... Slight issue with that. There's a slight issue. There's going to be Drought. We definitely just want to fake out you. And I could just go into Yanma. I could. I have Focus Ash, which is really good. So you know what? I am just going to end up going into him. Let's just do that. Hopefully you just, like, protect Logan or something like that. So we're going to save our Arch Ludon. Bring it back. And we're going to throw out our lovely little bug. Get it. Get it. And we'll see a Terror type pop out. Probably from Logan going Ghost. I feel like Logan always goes Ghost here. And it's going to be Torkoal going... Fire. That's totally fine. I'm faking you out. As long as you're not Cobra Cloak, which I highly doubt, right? There's no shot you're Cobra Cloak. There's just no shot. The fake out is going to launch, make you flinch up, and after you, he's going to fly here. So we should buy a nice little turn here, which is great. And you're going to flinch. Yep. Awesome. Cool. Dope. So not a bad turn there. Um, I do have Ghost Terror, but that's not really anything good. You could put me to sleep if you want to. I could go for a knockoff just to take off your item, which is kind of what I want to do here. And maybe just get this speed boost. Or I could use Focus Ash and Air Slash a little bit, but chances are your Focus Ash. So I'm just going to detect here. I'm just going to simply detect. Try to look to get off some damage here. So detect the Yanma. Let's try to get, or not Yanma, Yan Mega. And he's just going to protect the Torkoal. So are you putting, what are you doing here? Attack by Yan Mega. You're going to put me to sleep. I feel like you are. 
We're going for close combat instead. Oh, man. That's ugly. But decent damage pops out there. After you could easily fly here now. But I got a speed boost flying. I'm hoping Yon Mega could be actually faster at this point. There's a chance. There is a chance. You're sitting plus one. I was hoping you would be plus two considering we swapped you in, but it's fine. Um, Good hard swap and maybe like Ursula here. Is we have to get off some damage. We have to get off damage. I kind of would rather save our Incineroar. There's a chance that Incineroar can soak. You know what? We're going for knockoff. And we're just going to go for Air Slash. Use our Focus Ash. And we'll probably sash them up too. Alright, let's do it. After you going to fly? Yep, there it is. So after you comes out here, yeah, Mega going to use his nice little Focus Ash. Incineroar. I don't think you soak this, right? No shot. Your option is too strong. I hope you do, but I, I doubt it. Yeah, you don't. There goes Focus Ash. Logan's gonna pop out here. Logan could be Cobra Cloak. It definitely could be, which I hope it is, because I'd love to just dump on it right now. If I can get rid of it right now, that th this could be a huge turn for us. This could be a huge turn for us. So Air Slash flies here, and it is gonna end up being Focus Ashed. Um, I think with another Protect Speed Boost, we can just outspeed the Logan, which could be really good for us. So I think at this point, we just go into Ursaluna, and we protect both Pokemon. Because I'm sitting here plus two. I might already outspeed it, but I would rather just make sure. So I'm just going to go for a double protect here. And get that speed boost. So protect. Nice little detect here. Detect and protect. So double one up here. Get this speed boost. Hopefully they just stay on the field. And then I can just outspeed Logan. Take it out with Air Slash. Then go for like a headlong rush. Take out Torkoal. And pick up a double KO. That could be really massive for us. That could be really big for us. Let's see what they want to cook up here. No swaps, exactly what we wanted. And I would think another after you would come out here. Or you could just double down to Ursaluna. No, it's another after you. So after you're gonna fly here. Eruption. I'm actually playing this one better than I thought I would. So far, so good. Sun's actually almost done, which is which is nice. Sun is actually almost done. And there's a nice little speed boost. Actually, is Sun done now? Is the sun done? No, it's not. Okay. So, honestly, EQ is to play just in case they swap. It has no effect on Yon Mega. But sitting here plus three, you should be faster. Let me see your speed real quick. Yeah, you should be faster. I'm going to give you the benefit of the, of the doubt. You should be faster than Slogan. We're going to go for this nice little air slash. Should I go for Bug Buzz instead? Who could you swap into? No, we're just going to stick with air slash. So, we're just going to go EQ. And then stick an air slash. Actually, what's your accuracy? 95. We're going bug buzz. We're not we're not dealing with the accuracy. And then we'll go for bug buzz here. So he ends up withdrawn. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And he who you popping out here with? Who you popping out here with? It's gonna be Ursaluna of their own. Okay. And you're gonna double swap. Okay. A little double swap action. So you could have vacuum wave with your You could have vacuum wave with your uh with your Ursaluna. Could have vacuum wave. EQ's gonna fly. You could also go for a what's it called? Which would be scary. You could also go for a uh, an E speed. I might just want to terrestrialize my Yon Mega. I might just do that. I might just do it. So Sun's gonna be gone. Speed boost's gonna pop out here. Um and he gonna go into Torkoal or Logan. Not bad so far. We still have Arch Luna in the back end, which is great news for us. Um, Torkoal is scary. Um, they're going to go into Torkoal. And honestly, I think you just have to protect Torkoal. Unless he's choice. Is he choice? Do we think there's a chance that he's choice? I'm trying to think of the moves that he used. Because he just popped Eruption all the way through. I'm going to double protect and read out this turn. I kind of just want to see what he wants to do. We're going to see if he's throwing Eruptions. I'm just going to double protect here. I do have Ghost Terror, and I could read it with an E-Speed, but let's just let's just read out the turn. Let's let's slow the pace down. Let's slow the pace down. Because there's a chance that this Torkoal is choice. 
There's a hot chance that's historical choice. There's a hot chance here. So are you going for E speed? You are. So I can ghost terror dodge that if I if I want to. Which I might want to. And Torkoal's not protecting. I think this thing's choice. I think he's choice. I really believe he's choice. I really do believe this Pokemon's choice. I really do believe this Pokemon's choice. Um we're just gonna go for a EQ here, because EQ should be able to just, uh, you know, work onto that Torkoal. And I'm just gonna Terrasalize and go for an Air Slash into the slot. Now, you're not allowed to hit me with E-Speed. We just simply won't allow it. We will not allow it. I think that thing's choice. I really do. I really believe that that Torkoal is choice spec. I really do. Alright, so we're gonna hit that Terra button. We're going Ghost with Yan Mega. Trying to get after it. Not a bad play. And Yan Mega looking to dodge this E-Speed. This be huge if he goes for E-Speed this turn. He is. Beautiful. 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 So perfect Ghost Terra for us. Buys us not one turn right there, but two turns, which would be our next turn with our Yan Mega, which is really good up against this Logan. And this should take out Torkoal. Oh my god. I oh my god. I didn't even realize it would hit my Yan Mega. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that. All right, we're still not sitting in a terrible position. Still not a terrible position yet. Actually, I mean, Logan can close combat me down. Oh, man. Oh, no. Did I just did I just sell that one? I might have just sold that one. I might just sold that. I might just sold that. Hold up. I might just sold that. So, Logan on 1 HP, chilling on the field. I didn't even realize that EQ would hit it. I totally forgot. But I'm just going to go Facade here. You still have Terra? No, you still have Torkoal. So Facade is going to be a safe play. And I'm just going to protect you because I think what they want to do is just go close combat into the Arch Luna slot. Even though you could you could use it into Ursa Luna. I feel like you would rather take out this Arch Luna more so than anything. So I'm just going to protect here. Oh, man. I should have just went headlong rush. I didn't even think. Didn't even think. I knew I was changing my type to dodge the E speed, but I didn't even think about the EQ. Didn't even think about that one. We're playing so well, and I might have just sold that. And I might have just sold the match. Hopefully, I can clutch up here. Hopefully, I can clutch up. Hopefully, Logan is going after Arch Ludon. That'd be really nice. And then I could just take him out. Let's see. Wrong choice. I sold it. I sold it. I sold it. You got a crit. I sold it. I sold it. I sold the match. I cannot believe I sold the match. All right. Scale shot's going to fly here. Um, how could I? Is there any possible way I can win this one? Any possible way. I got to go electro shot here to KO you. Use my power herb, get that plus one, and then go for dragon pulse. That's the only way. But I sold it. I sold it. I'll take that one on the chin. We played so good besides that one play. Besides that one play, I outplayed our opponent this whole time. That hurts, man. Hopefully, you guys still enjoyed. You guys are going to roast me in the comments. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Unless something happens here. There's no way. I mean, you just close combat skill shot for the win here. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Unless we can, like, die. No, no. We're, we're dead here. We're dead probably just as close combat. 4 HP. Beautiful, lovely. His bench dropped. And he... Oh no, we're actually outspeeding. I think Scale Shot's accuracy is a little lower. Isn't it? So if you miss a Scale Shot, actually you could just e speed me with the game. You could just e speed me with the game. Yeah, that's game. Thanks for playing. At least I'm taking out this little game. Man, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. That one extra turn from Yamega would have been huge, especially because it's just the fastest on the field. We would have been able to take out Logan with no problem. We would have just been able to dump on it. But hey, GG to our opponent. We start off 0-1. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against a Gen 1 favorite. We're going up against Snorlax. They also have Tinkaton, Palmot, Skelly Dirt, so three Generation 9 Pokemon. Then they're rocking out with Dragonite and Grimmsnarl. So pretty dope squad here. I think they probably want to go like screens or something like that. So if that's the case, I mean, Archer Ludon could just be 
You would think I think started here. Maybe just go for its electroshock, get that special attack boost, get after it that way. Um, that is something I do like. Um, screens are just they're just scary all around. I could just go like Sneasel here. I mean, Sneasel are super effective onto a few. They do have fake out, so it's like, eh. You should have protect, right, Sneasler? You do have protect, so I could just, you know, protect here. I'm gonna go Sneasler here. I'm gonna lead off my Sneasler. So Sneasler coming out here for the lead. Uh, Archer Ludon could be a good lead here as well. You could have, what's that ability called? Not Bolt Absorb. You could have Lightning Rod. Doesn't Paul not learn Lightning Rod, so that is, that is something a bit scary that I have to uh, look out for. Could go into Yon Mega and just get the speed boost. It's tough because screens are annoying. I really just hate playing up against screens. But I am going to go Yamega. Um, I'm going to go Arch Luna. And last but not least, I think Incineroar just could be a good call. Incineroar. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're not going to talk about that last match. Last match, big fluke on my end. Just don't even want to talk about it. You guys can laugh about it. Roast me in the comment section down below. Go ahead. We're looking to bounce back here. Match number two. Let's do it. Let's do it. Our big threat is going to be that... Uh, that Grimstarl setting up screens. And they are going to end up leading it, so Grimstarl is going to come out here. Um, Tinkaton most likely outs... Or, yeah. I was going to say. Tinkaton going to be able to outspeed with the fake out. And he's going to be able to set up screens. So I just think like a simple double protect is fine. And you can set up a screen. Go ahead. Set up a screen. Just You, you can have your screens. So, like, you're going to get them regardless. Have your screens. So the screens going to get set up here. We'll hit that double protect button just so fake out doesn't really do much here. And Sneasler. Probably looking close to combat next turn. Use my white herb and then unburden out. That'd be really good for us. There's a nice little protect. Double down. We'll get our speed boost. And you'll go for reflect probably. Yep. There you go. Right, go ahead. Like I said, you're going to get off your screen for this. Go ahead and have him. Do it. Knockoff actually flies. Look at a knockoff my focus hash. I mean... Hitting this Pokemon will just knock off its Focus Ash, <laughs> and we'll get this Speed Boost going. So Speed Boost on the field, we definitely probably want to go for a Close Combat first, or I could just rip a Dire Claw. We go for Stellar Stellar Terror Dire Claw. No, let's just send this. So I'm gonna send that, and we go for Tailwind for the rest of the team. I don't need it right now. I'm just going to double down into this, what's called, into this Grimstarl. It gets off the screens. Blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Bug Buzz launches. That's respectable damage. Dire Claw in this KO. It does. All right, so we get rid of Grimstarl. Again, it gets off the screens. We, we already knew that was happening. And what are you going for? A knockoff here? What you got? Yep, there goes your knockoff, which is fine. I'm cool with that. I mean... I had focus actually knocking off my items and doesn't really do much. So I'm speed boosting up. I got close combat ready to go. I could always set up tailwind if they are outspeeding me. Or oh, I'm talking about my sneezer. If they're outspeeding my sneezer, I can always just, you know, do that. But they're gonna end up going into Skelly Dunch, which is a bit scarier of a Pokemon. Um Torch Song could fly here. I could go Stellar Terror with Throat Chop. I know we're gonna outspeed this thing, so I, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna double down with air slash. Stellar Terra. Stellar Terra Sneasler. Yeah, we're looking just to get off some damage here. Because Tinkaton's one of those Pokemon that I don't really want to worry about too much. Like, yeah, it can do respectable damage. But it's not going to be a Pokemon that's just going to sit on the field and just, like, you know, sweep out the match. So I'd rather kind of just focus down on this right side right now. I know they got screens. Which is why we went to Terrasalize just to get off a bit a bit more damage here. And I think Skeletors is also going to get this Terra. Could be Grass. It could definitely be Grass, which I wouldn't mind. This is going to be Skelly Dirge into what? Into normal. Oh, we could have close combat it. We could have gave it a close combat. Could have gave it a close combat. Can I get a flinch with Air Slash? That'd be beautiful. That'd be a beautiful sight to see. Third Chop going to launch. You're probably going to take out my Yan Mega this turn. Most likely happening with Torch Song. And Tinkaton's going to set up Stealth Rocks. The so Stealth Rocks comes out here. Are you leaving... My sneeze on the field. You're gonna willow us, but all right, you're leaving both Pokemon on the field. I still think close combat can KO. I still think close combat can KO Skelly Dirge. I really do. So your team's still on the slower side. I think we just keep Yon Mega on the field. I really do. I think we just go for close combat in this slot, and then we just simply just attack here. 
Go for the burn here instead of the instead of the torch song KO on the Yon Mega, which I really thought was happening. So I'm not protecting it. It set up Stealth Rocks, kind of annoying. Can close combat through a burn KO. It's stab. It's terror boost. It's super effective. It does beautiful. So Skelly Dirge going. It's a big time KO for us. Defense is gonna drop, but White Herb gonna fly. White Herb flying here. We'll get rid of our stat changes. Which is really good. And Unburden will pop, so I know I'm faster than pretty much any Pokemon that's next. Gigaton Hammer flies into Yanega. And we're just surviving out here. We're just surviving out here. So again, Tinkaton, not really posing that big of a threat. Um, whatever Pokemon I throw out on this right side, I think I'll just target it down for the rest of the remainder of the match. If it's super fast, I'll Tailwind with, with Yon Mega. For my back end Pokemon to clean up. But it is going to be Palmont. All right, Palmont. Palmont can do some damage. Probably would rather just go for a Dire Claw here. And then most likely just Tailwind if I can. Yeah, you could fake me out here. I'm gonna get off the Stanley. Palmot's a bit fast, and it's a fighting type, so Arcelor, I can't really take too well to that. So there's that. Dire Call is gonna fly out here. Can I get, like, a Paralyze? Or I can't, not even Paralyze. Like, a Sleep would be awesome. Oh! RNG! This is payback for a couple videos ago. Payback for a couple videos ago. If you guys watched that video where I got slumped back to back times with Dire Claw, that's just payback. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. Surprised he didn't go for fake out that turn. They're just gonna fake out the Yon Mega. So Yon Mega's just boosted up in speed here. And now I can probably just go for like close combat to just chip up damage there. Then have Air Slash kind of just like attack Palmont. So Air Slash flying. One more will actually KO it, which is gorgeous. Close combat launches. Does about negative five. A little bit more. That's that's respectable damage. We can't can't complain about that damage, especially because I'm burned. A Palmont, of course, one turn sleep, my RNG's back to back to normal. And you were five with blessing. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Screens gotta be almost done. Screens have got to be almost done. So they're gonna revive a Pokemon. It's gonna be Skelly Dirge, which I don't mind at all. And Gigaton Hammer's gonna find the Sneasler. And Sneasler dies out. That's fine. That's fine, Sneasler. That is totally fine. Alright, so. I kind of want to bring out Archeludon, but at the same time, I just think going into Incineroar might be our play. Yeah, we're going to Intimidate and be able to fake out. I'm cool with this. So Incineroar is going to fly out here. A little bit of Incineroar action, Intimidate, and we'll just save the Archeludon. Stealth Rock's going to point into me. Totally fine, Intimidate into two physical attackers, which is really nice. And from here, we can just, you know, fake out, tank a ton, and then just go into Air Slash KO the Palmot. It's crazy how long these screens have been lasting. I think screens, man. Couple more turns. Definitely late lead. The fake out launches, negative five damage, but a flinch is nice. And Air Slash gonna finish off Palmot, which is beautiful, which is lovely. Palmot gone, they got Skelly Dirge left. I feel like this match is longer than it has to be. Ticketon's gonna flinch. So Skelly Dirge gonna come out here. It is normal terror type. I mean, I think Bug Buzz can maybe clean up. You should be at half. Yeah, you're at half HP. How many turns left in these screens? Oh my lord. One turn left in Reflect. One turn left in, uh... In, uh... Light, or two turns left in Light Screen. So I'm just gonna Air Slash this Skelly Dirge down. Just keep dealing damage. Pestering away. Almost KOing with that Air Slash. Flare Blitz gonna launch. How much damage is this doing? KOing the Tinkathon. Beautiful. And now we just win this match. No problem. Now we win this match. No problem. So like I said, I'm bouncing back here. I'm mega actually going crazy in this match. Speed boosting through it went crazy in match number one too. But it's just such a powerful Pokemon, especially after you get a few of those speed boosts, you're just outspeeding this whole time. So I told you guys screens would be a little bit of a problem, but we kind of just played around it and played it really well. So now I can just go for knockoff. I can just go for air slash, and they probably cancel match. They don't. They let my Yan Mega pick up the final KO. We're sitting one and one. Moving on to our third and final match. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Yan Mega going crazy today so far. Would love to use it again here. Going up against. Mousehold, Ursaluna in Blood Moon form. They also have Golden Go, Prima Arena, Sneasler, just like us. And last but not least, they do have Dragonite. So I feel like Archaludon could be a great lead here. I am scared of, obviously, uh, Sneasler being a lead. If that's the case, I mean, I could just Terrastalize. I mean, Archaludon's going to come out here. Could go Yam Mega. Maybe try to pull off a Tailwind. That could be really good for us. Um, yeah, that is exactly what Windu. And then in the back end, we could just go Incineroar because Incineroar is just goaded all around. And Sneasel. 
Our Sneasler's fast, it hits hard, it's got White Herb. It's got Stellar Terror type like you guys seen in the last match. Stellar Terror type is just so nice for big time attackers like Sneasler. Another Pokemon that actually like thrives with Stellar Terror type would be uh, Chen Pao in the earlier formats, or I should say past formats. Chen Pao was just so good with Stellar Terror type just because it had three solid moves that hit hard. That hit like absolute trucks and two of them are stat. And Sneasler kind of does the same thing, so I love Sneasler with the Stellar Terror type. I feel like only certain Pokemon can pull off the Stellar Terror type and Sneasler is one of them. So Golden Ghost Sneasler are going to come out here for their lead. Um, yeah, Mega Arch Ludon for my lead. And I think just Terrastalize and Electro Shotting down, down you would be the play, right? And then just detecting you and getting that, getting that, uh, what's it called, would be nice. That speed boost. I'm with it, because there is a chance that you drop close combat and be White Herb just like us and have Unburden to go off. I would think your Focus Ash more so than anything. I would think your Focus Ash, Sneasler. I'm just going to protect my Yamega. We're going to go into a nice little Electric Terra. Hopefully they protect Gold and go. That'd be really nice. That'd be lovely. Sneasler goes for Fake Out in the slot. That works for me. That works for me. So big time protect. He's going to end up doing that. And Electro Shot going to fly. So we're going to Power Herb Electro Shot with this Terra type. If Sneasler's not Focus Ash, I think this Pokemon's just dead. But I think it's Focus Ash. I think it is Focus Ash. Not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. Not gonna sit here and lie. So now comes Electro Shot, and my calculations were correct. You are sashed up, so unburdened going to trigger here. Um, and you're gonna go for a trick here, so I'm gonna be choice until Electro Shot. Is that, is that, your, is that your play? See, I'm Mega Sync plus one. Um, switching to Incineroar is not a bad play. I'm gonna set up a Tailwind. I don't want to be choice into Electro Shot. I really don't want to. Don't think it's a solid play for us. So I'm gonna swap it to Incineroar. I'm going to try to set up the tail one for the rest of the squad. I'm going to go from there. So Trick coming out here into Arch Ludon. Intimidate flies. Incineroar doing Incineroar things. And we launch Tailwind. It's kind of funny we outspeed that. That sneeze. I could just KO'd it. Dire Claw launches. Do not poison me. Thank you. Power Gem's going to fly. And we got our Focus Ash, which is really good news. So Focus Ash pops out here. We know our, uh, we know our Yamega. Actually, both my Pokemon should outspeed with the Tailwind, but we definitely know our Yamega outspeeds, so I think we just want to go for a knockoff into this Golden Ghost slot, and then just go for a Bug Buzz into this slot, because Bug Buzz is 100 accuracy, rather than 95 with Air Slash, and I'd rather not risk the Air Slash missing, because, you know, RNG could, could do you dirty. It could definitely do you dirty. So, Yamega flapping his little buggy wings. I love Yamega. Just a cool Dragonfly Pokemon. But imagine you've seen a dragonfly that big in real life. You run for your life. You'd be like, oh my lord, the world's ending. Like, look how big that thing is. It looks like a prehistoric dinosaur bug. Thing's massive. But Bug Buzz is going to pick up the KO. Knockoff's going to fly from Incineroar. Do great damage. You don't have an item, but still, I like the damage. Power Gem flies, and you leave my Yam Mega on the floor. And my Incineroar survives. That's huge. Speed boost coming out here. We got Tailwind up. Yam Mega going nuclear today. Such a good Pokemon. I love it in this format. A lot of times you see it with Hypnosis and like a Gravity kind of play. But I love it how it is right here. The Ursuline is going to come out here. I think knocking off that item might be our, our top play. So I'm going to actually... Hmm, you know what? We're going to KO the Golden Go. We're just going to make sure Golden Go dies out here. So I'm going to go after Golden Go. Take that out. And I'm going to maybe hope for a flinch here. A flinch in Ursuline would be awesome. It'd be so good. I got to remember I have Choice Scarf or Choice Specs on my... Oh, you got Vacuum Wave. Oh, you got Vacuum Wave. But I gotta remember, I have Choice Specs on my Arch of Ludon. So I think best bet might just be like a Dragon Pulse. Could be good, but Air Slash gonna do respectable damage there. Shadow Ball gonna launch a KO me. That's fine. And it turns into a 2v3, but, but I still like where we're standing considering we have Tailwind up on the field. I think for one more turn. And I got Sneasler. Love a good old Sneasler. Love a good old Sneezy. The Sneasler pops out here. They still have Terra. 
If I had to guess Ursulina's terror type, it would have to be... It would have to be, what's it called? It would have to be normal. It would have to be normal. I want to choice into Thunderbolt. I really do. Dragon Pulse isn't going to get the job done. I think we go Thunderbolt and then we just go close combat. And we use our Sneasel to get rid of this, this Ursulina. That's really where I'm at. Because this close combat can pop our White Herb and get Unburden going. And then have speed for the rest of the game and look to just win it. But we're going to end up seeing a Terra type. If this is Ghost Ursulina, I'd be upset. Let's see. It's going to be Ursulina. Is it normal? It's Ghost. It's Ghost. It's Ghost. It's Ghost. That's rough for us. That's rough for us. Ghost Ursulina. Maybe just win the match here. Thunderbolt is going to launch, though. We are going to get rid of Golden Go, which is really good. But we're now choiced into this. So, choice, Electric Terra, Thunderbolt. We can now hit the Ursulina, which is good news. And he's going to go for an Earth Power, which probably KOs us. It's probably game. Hot chance of being game right there. Great Terra on their end. I was really hoping it would have been normal Terra, if anything. Tailwind's gone. We should still outspeed, but they got two Pokemon left. Wow. That sucks, man. That really does suck. Premier Arena comes out here, and Archelon would have been the perfect counter to that. I can go for Dire Claw, which I am going to go for. Let's just KO Premier Arena. Maybe they protect the Ursulina. Who knows? But I don't think Throw Chop can KO. Dire Claw flies. It is just going to one tap Premier Arena. And we'll see what they want to do with Ursulina. Probably just another Earth Power for victory, right? Yeah. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. That's rough, man. Perfect terror type to win the game. What can you do about that one? GG's to our opponent. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, using Yan Mega and Arch Ludon in ranked regulation each. Now, the results were not what we wanted. We went one and two for today's video, but we played them super well. I feel like I sold that first match. And the last match, can't do anything about our opponent making a great play with the Ghost Terror type. Just a perfect Terror type at the perfect time, won them the match. But hey, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.